Hello and welcome to The Edge. My name is Pierre Hager. Hi, I'm Tristan Fleming. Hi, I am Zontavius Gatlin. Hi, I'm Nick. Hi, I'm Alan. So why are you here? Disclaimer, this whole thing's gonna be Valentine's related, so... Our first topic, if girls need to give anything for their boyfriends on Valentine's Day, so... I personally think they should if they want to. I don't really think it's a necessity, though. So... Um, you can go first. Yeah, you I feel like it's not required, but the guys would appreciate it. Speaking from a guy's perspective, I would appreciate it if someone got me a gift. Like, guys like gifts too. Exactly. Like, that's all I gotta say. Uh, I've never gotten anything from Valentine's Day. I mean, we can't really add to this conversation. My girlfriend will get something out throughout the year. So, on Valentine's Day, there's no need for one particular day to get your girlfriend or something. But, uh, I feel like. If a girl, I feel like girls should get their man something too, because it ain't all about you know me giving you my love, and I'm just just looking at you, enjoy that titty, bro, and then you just <laughs> and you just looking at me saying thank you so much, and I'm, like, <laughs> and I'm like what about me? What about me? You know, I feel as if you should at least give me a hug, let me know you love me, um, but I don't ask for too much. You know, I think the guy should provide for the girl. Of course. Yeah. 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 Oh, hey Tara. Hey guys. It's time for Ask Tara, a segment where we answer anonymous questions. Dear Tara, I am struggling to find a Valentine's Day gift for my boyfriend. No one really seems to know what to get a guy. Help, please. Baby shark. Baby shark. That's true. Most people don't know what to get guys for Valentine's Day because usually guys get girls something. But it's okay if you want to get your guy something. Guys really just want to know that you love them. And they really kind of like food. But mostly they just want to know that you love them. Dear Tara, there's this girl that I like at my school. But she never really seems to notice that I'm around. What do I do for Valentine's Day to make her notice me? Sincerely, Desperate. Desperate. That's really unfortunate that the girl never seems to notice you, but Valentine's Day is the perfect time to make yourself visible. Dear Tara, I don't have any romantic interests, but I want to get a lot of the girls at my school stuff just as friends. Is that okay? Of course it is. You don't have to actually romantically love someone to care about them. And therefore, it is okay if you get everyone in your school something. Thanks for joining me at Ask Tara. So there's this thing called Galentine's Day that takes place right before Valentine's Day. And the whole, you know, like purpose of it is for girls to celebrate Valentine's Day. I guess, I mean, I don't... I don't think it's necessary, bro, because they get some the day after. When yeah. are we going to be able to... See, not oh, all no, of us get some. <laughs> well, I, I you can get your friends something on Valentine's Day, yeah, so... Yeah. I, 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 get, I get the... I, I get always the, get my friends... I get, to, I get the girl stuff before, like, the day before. Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, alright. Look, I get the girl stuff the day before Valentine's Day, because I don't want to... Make my girl feel like I'm celebrating something. Like for just a particular day, you for her. You know, you can get her something on Valentine's Day or before, but I'd rather before. You know, it's just how I am. How do you feel about this week? Um, I don't know. I feel like, are we still talking about Valentine's Day or giving it before, like Valentine's Day? Regardless, it doesn't matter. I feel like Valentine's Day is kind of dumb. Because, okay, think about this. Even if you're lonely, like, there's a possibility someone's going to give you a gift. It's almost selfish to me that girls get to celebrate something that guys don't. So, should we have a brawling time? Yeah, we should. We should have a brawling bowl, time. A brawling time. Yeah, like, or we could go, go to the house and watch the game or something. Yeah, okay. go to the house. I, okay, please. But you, they do the same thing before marriage. You know, for the girl, they, get, they go. That's a bad for it. That's a bad. Yeah, they have yeah, a bachelor party. party. And then the guys have some kind of thing. Yeah. yeah Most times they have a bachelor party. party. Well, what do you mean? What drinking? Well, I think every, um, <laughs> everybody should be in the giving season. Like, 
period. Like, yeah. you always should be like, oh, I need to buy something for this person because they did something nice to you. So that's what I think. Yeah. Gift to somebody. I mean, it, it could just go along with, you know, some girls who may not get anything for Valentine's Day. Yeah. They just want a little bit of self-love, you know? Oh, yeah. Well, like, if I love self-love, I will love myself. Sometimes people fall a victim of depression where they don't love themselves. Mm -hmm. And so then they go and date the anything off the street that got too lit. Because they feel like if they ain't, they feel like if they ain't nobody. So I feel like everybody should have self-love, you know? You should think that you're somebody before you get in a relationship. Yeah, person be like, I don't like you because you do this. Then you, without self-love, you don't have no value. Because yeah, you can go take a $100 bill and drag it through dirt, spit on it. And I guarantee you, if you walk to Walmart and hold that mud up and say, anybody wants this, they're going to take it. So, if, without self-love, you don't know your worth. And so, you got to know how much you're worth. You got to be able to love yourself and expect somebody else to love you. Okay? Uh, right. Right. Tell him how to cow eat the cabbage, that's how yeah. I Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Chewed it up. Chewed up, don't spit. Alright, so. Uh -oh. um, <laughs> anybody else wants? I, I, think, I think the reason why some people don't really have self love is because some people care too much about other people's opinions, you feel? That just kind of brings them down because they're all like, oh no, this person, they think so little of me. Oh. So that that's why they wouldn't really have self love because no one around them appreciates them. But you don't really need to care what anyone else thinks about you, as long as you are happy with yourself. That's what really matters. Yeah. And every now and then, I don't know if all y'all, I, I fall the victim of it. Not being able to have self love. But I don't know if y'all have. Same as well. Yeah. I have. Yeah. I, I, I lack confidence. I, I lack confidence a lot, but you just have to say to yourself. I'm worth it, I can do it. You just gotta motivate yourself. Uh, sometimes just look around and ask yourself, who defines beautiful? True. That's true. That was the mirror I said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You do, man. You define it. Yes. 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 So, we are gonna do one of our segments called Yay or Nay. I throw any little thing out there and then they say Yay or Nay or Yay Nay. So, <laughs> teddy bears for Valentine's Day as a present. Yay. Yay. Me personally. Nay. Yeah. You nay for me. Nay. Yay. Yeah. I say um, I'm kind of scared of Teddy Bear because my last one I gave to the Bear, she broke it up. Everybody in here know about it. I know ain't going to even speak on it, but listen. Well, all right. So our next Yay or Nay will be surprising gifts. Oh, surprising gifts. What y'all think? Nay. Nay. Yay. 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 Yay, 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 babe, I want you to throw the ball out of bounds to me. Nay, yay, nay, nay, I gotta say nay, you nay. I gotta go with nay. Wait, may I ask what are all the top gifts? Just way too much, like just entirely too much. Giant teddy bear. So, yeah, wait, so like all the girls who came to the school, and like, that's okay, that's okay. That's all the top. No, that's normal. What is over the top? All right, so flowers. Um, yay. Bitch gonna die. Nay. <laughs> That's true, nay. Unless they're fake. Yay. Yeah. Why would you buy your girl fake flowers? Mm. I, 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 I go and pick girl. them out the garden. So Stick them in a vase with some dirt in there. Like the poor little water. You know, because then you know she got a water up, she's thinking about it. My man got this in there. <laughs> 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 Then it's gonna get big and bigger and bigger and bigger and it's bigger. Gonna it's, gonna it's gonna die. die. It's gonna die. Yeah. 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 Then you get take it and put it outside. No, it's gonna die. No, it's yeah, gonna see, die. you get a biannual. Oh. <laughs> right. You're gonna stick it in the ground. But it's gonna die. Yeah. yeah. Eventually, so yeah. They so they flowers? Mm, they <laughs> they <laughs> so they overall on flowers. Um, and uh, then we have nice dinner. Yeah. Yay. Yay. I mean, I like to eat. No, no, no. I like eating, so it's a definite. Oh, yeah. 
it's it's a yay. Yeah. I mean, because it, like what do it mean like you bringing the person some food you taking them out to eat taking them out to eat are you are you like what if they bring you food you can bring food yeah you if, if, could bring food oh if she's at work or if she's somewhere okay. oh just, then yeah bring the food and be like here you go honey you know, i can't wait till you know. that's a, it, it goes both ways the boys can do it yeah 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 Yay. All right, so we are exiting our yay and a section, and now we will be moving on to a new topic, teenage dating. How do we feel about teenage hmm. dating? Again, what age we be talking about? All right, yeah. um, the, the, the I'll teenage. say 12 or 13, 12 or 13 to 18. So you, if you had a daughter, you would want her to be dating at 12 years. Heck no. Uh -huh. Okay, well, why did you say that? Well? Because I just know there are some 12 year old girls. No, no, he talking about, he talk, did not him, it's not about us. Yeah, okay. Okay. That's talking okay. about teenage dating okay. on our team. Okay, okay. All right. So 12 right. through 18. Some of these 12 year olds just dating 18 year olds. And me personally, I feel like at that point, it's a, someone trying to manipulate someone. It's, yeah. Yeah, that's just not Well, right. I feel like it's the age range, right bro. I feel like, uh, you shouldn't be 13 running around. Well, nowadays you see like a 12th grader and a 9th grader go out. And then some people be like, okay. But like, like if, if you in, if you a senior and you dating a girl that's in middle school, then that's a problem. Uh, so I feel like on teenage dating, you know, we, we, you know, kids coming up, they want to see how I feel to be loved sometimes. Because it, it ain't going to last forever. But, you know, I don't know. Yeah. And we all teenagers, we make sure. Yeah, we're all teenagers. How old are you? I'm 16. Okay, so I'm, a, I'm a little big 16. You are an adult. I'm 18. You but, um, <gasps> you're 18? 18? Yes. Congratulations. 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 Teenage day. So I want to say that the age or like grade range would be like, let's just say you're in the 12th grade. You really should only like date an 11th grader. A 10th grader is a little bit of like a stretch, but. It ain't yeah, she might base Yeah, it's, it's a stretch, but together, like. Kind of or, like or only if she's like the That's oldest, true. or he. Only if they're like the oldest person in their entire grade. Or That's, if they got held back. Yeah, if they got held back. Or if they got held too. back. Yeah. I Man, I feel like. I feel like you should be free to love who you want to. But don't don't be don't be uh 16. Wow. Don't be out here wild. I mean, I don't think a 12th grader dating a 10th grader, I don't think it's bad. A 11th grader dating a 9th grader, I mean, like a two year difference, that ain't too bad. Because at least they know what they want to do. The thing about dating somebody two years under. But, I, hey, but you gotta think about this a 13 year old dating a 15 year old, they on two different levels by then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Like, what social standing does that help you? I'm, dating, I'm 15 and I'm dating a 12 year old. Like, how does that make you feel better about yourself? Great. I personally don't date anybody um, younger than me unless, like, like, like you said, the living grade, maybe. But um, yeah, I don't go lower than that because I, I'm in twelfth grade. I feel like we should, you know, I feel like everybody should just wait till they about. 15, That's it for today's Edge. I hope you all did enjoy the, our first episode. Um, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye!